back to my channel. As you guys saw, it's so atrocious outside. It's Monday morning. I braved the snow to go to the grocery store because we desperately needed groceries. And I wanted to share not only like what I got, but how and why I got what I got, if that makes sense. This fashion have just like buckled down. We're getting ready for our wedding. We're budgeting even more than we have before. And we're starting just to create these healthy habits within our budget that I thought I would share with you guys. Um, a lot of it um, mimics what I've been watching on YouTube from Jordan Page. If, I will link all of her information below if you guys are interested to check her out. Um, but she is a mom here local in Utah and has been on lots of different talk shows about you know her budgeting and how she's mastered it for her big family. Um, I've tailored it obviously just because it's me and Sebastian and um, it just is what's going to work better for us. But. I thought I would share with you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so mainly what her big budget thing is, is for groceries you go once a week um, and that's the only time you go. So if you forget something, if you're out of something, like you change up the recipe, you manage, you only go once a week, which is a change for me because I feel like I go to the store like every day just for one thing. Um, so it's kind of annoying. She sets the budget for $100 per person per month. So breaking that down for me and Sebastian, for me that's $25 weekly, but $50 for me and Sebastian. So everything that I got um, was $50 today. I did go $3 over for, I'm holding it right here, but for a fabric softener. Um, stuff like this I don't beat myself up too much over just because I'm not going to have to buy this every single time. So to go over $3, that's okay. Uh, she also recommends meal planning, which of course everyone has heard. But the thing that I liked about hers is it was so interesting. Um, she mentioned that meal planning, like we're probably doing it backwards, which I was like unsure of what she meant by that, but it is true and I <laughs> am at fault of doing this. But when I think I want a meal plan, I go immediately to Pinterest and look up all these recipes that I want to buy and then immediately go to the store and buy all the ingredients I need for those Pinterest recipes. But what's bad about that is you forget to do the inventory of your fridge, your freezer, your pantry, and then you're buying doubles, triples of things and wasting money that way. So. Um, she like recommends starting at your kitchen first and kind of making a list. Sorry, I wanted to go grab my notebook to show you guys. So what she has like told people is to do like an inventory of maybe like the cans that you have and need to use up, the produce that you need to use up, meat, kind of all that stuff. So last night I took some time and I just did an inventory. You might not be able to see it. Um, I didn't go like everything just because I had a good idea of exactly what we had like meat wise and stuff like that um, but I kind of did like the fridge so all of the meat that we have we have like tortellini in the fridge um, and then I did the pantry inventory and that's where I used up most of um, the things for recipes so I did like inventory of all of the cans that we have all of like the grains pastas rices that we had um, any potatoes we had like so yeah I just kind of did a quick inventory I didn't this didn't take me long at all um, but I found it to be so easy because then I just plugged all of this stuff into an app called all recipes and um, I had it I, I had it <laughs> I had um, like canned corn I needed to use up so I just like put in you can have um, oh my phone's not around but there's this feature where you just search by ingredients so I just searched corn and then I found a recipe that I wanted to use that also included all of these other canned goods so um, moral of that story is to just like quickly take an inventory of what you have and then go to the grocery store and then go to Pinterest like figure out what you want um, to make based off of what you already have that way you're not wasting food doubling buying things that you don't even need like I just found it so so helpful so she has lots of like free um, templates that you can use on her website so I'll link all of that below I didn't use any of that um, just because it was easier this way just to write it down on a notebook um, and then along with that once I found out what I have to use up then I just did like a quick meal um, calendar of what we're gonna have this week so um, that was a big ramble of 
kind of how I went grocery shopping, but it is something that I want to stick to that I think is so smart. It is so smart to really budget when it comes to groceries because I think I've been doing it wrong for so long. Um, and it just saves you money to do other fun things or go on trips or buy clothing. Like, it's just, just do it, okay? Okay, well I had a receipt, but I don't know where it is, but I think once I take things out of the bags, I'll be able to find it. Um, today I went to Walmart because it was such a disgusting day that Walmart was like the closest to me and the easiest roads to get there. So I went to Walmart, uh, which I was happy about. They have like low prices, so it was good. Um, the first thing that I had to pick up again was the fabric softener. Um, this took me over my budget $3, but... Again, it's okay, because next week I won't have to buy something like this. Um, I got us a thing of wheat bread. We have like a lot of like tuna and stuff that we need to use up, so I thought we could just do like easy lunches that way. So I got some bread. Um, I also got two things of cheeses. I got um, just like this uh, mozzarella cheese for a recipe this week. And then her big thing as well is buying, um, like her saying is like one for now, two for later type of things when you're buying canned goods or fruit, canned goods, stuff like that. Um, stuff that obviously won't go bad so quickly. So I kind of went a little ham with the cheese, but I have a lot of recipes that I want to use that just calls for cheddar cheese. So I thought I might as well get the bigger bag and save me money now. Um, and you can, it's good until July, and you also can freeze cheese, which I'm like fascinated by her freezer segments. Like I can't even imagine all the things that you can freeze that I didn't even know about. So I got a big thing of cheddar cheese for recipes. Um, I just got a little box of lasagna noodles. Um, and then these are all of my canned goods. So the thing that I like was bought little bit mind blown about the most was like buying like this is like great value versus I don't know what the like fancy brand would be but when you're buying canned goods this like cheaper stuff like the Walmart brand is the same stuff as what's in the fancy label guy brand if that makes sense like they all go down the same factory they just go into two different categories one is the Walmart brand one is the sticker with the fancy guy. So it's all the same product, you're just buying the label, which I was like, I feel like my mom used to say that when I was younger and I was like, she's just trying to scam us. Um, and so it just took me like, I was just like, oh, okay, I definitely do this. I definitely spend extra money just to get the brand that I'm familiar with, but it's just all the same stuff. So that was like very interesting, interesting. And sorry, mom, that I never listened to you when we were younger. But um, I just got a couple things of tomato sauce. Um, again, I just thought I would buy, they were a pretty good price, so I thought that I would just buy a couple more um, in case I want to do the recipe again and I have it on hand. Um, I have two things of chili beans because we're making chili over here. Um, and then I have a couple things of tomato paste. I had to pick up chicken broth, so again, I got some chicken broth. To have on hand. I needed a couple onions, so we got that. Ooh, this was not really on the list, but I calculated it and it fell within my budget, so hi! Um, I got the Starbucks vanilla latte iced, whatever this is, um, iced coffee. This is so good. I'm still obsessed with it, and so yeah, we got that. Oh, here's my receipt. Here's my receipt. I knew I had it. Okay, so for everything, it was $53.33. Ah, that's so, wait, maybe I should do a thumbnail. So yeah, so $53.33, feeling good about that. Um, I had to pick up some butter, so I just got some salted butter. Um, I don't know, I feel like I don't bake a lot, so I get salted, but I know it's better to probably get unsalted, but whatever. I got a few packets of taco seasoning mix because again, we're meal prepping, we have some yummy recipes. Um, I got a lot of yogurt just because they were on sale, so I was like, I'll do it. Um, I got a couple of the red raspberry, that's my favorite. Um, I also really like French vanilla. And then Sebastian 
really likes berries, so I got him strawberry and the raspberry. So a few of those for breakfast. We got some sour cream that we needed to use for a recipe. Um, so kind of like going back to like my meal calendar, Monday, so tonight I'm going to make dinner, Tuesday I'm going to make dinner, Wednesday is mine and Sebastian's date night, so we typically will go out, but I'm trying to like reel it in a little bit and only go out once a week. So I thought it would be fun to pick up like a frozen pizza and like salad and like wine at home, so we might do this, if not, we'll just hold on to this for like the weekend and go out on Wednesday, not really sure. But yeah, I just thought I'd pick up like a pizza. This is just the margarita pizza. It looks really, really good. And again, just pop it in the oven with some wine. Like I feel like it would be really good. So I got that. And then this bag is just like the bag of stuff we really didn't need, but I thought it was good. My nose itches. Um, so I got some sweet potato fries because next week I want to buy, um, or next week I want to do like hamburgers and stuff. So I just thought I'd pick it up now. We had extra room in our budget for that. These also were, like we just had extra money. So I was like, I might as well just buy some stuff. <laughs> so I got the Simply Cheeto Puffs. These are so good. They're white cheddar. And they, okay, so about 32 pieces is a serving size, it says. And so I feel like, when I'm eating this, I couldn't imagine eating 32. That sounds so much. So they're so good. They're probably not good for you, but I think they're good for me. Um, so I picked up some of those. And then I also just picked up um, some Boom Chicka Pop, the sweet and salty kettle corn. This one comes in the bag, which I think I like a lot better because me and Sebastian kind of go through spurts with what we like here. And so I figured we'll just get a couple bags. He can take some to work with him. Um, that way it just like stays fresher rather than like a big bag that we're not gonna eat because those bags are huge So, um, yeah, I just got some of that. That is everything. That is all that I got for the $53.33 That is going to last us for this week um, And even longer because I got doubles and triples of things. So yeah, I'm really excited about our new budgeting goals Hopefully we can stick to them. It's super manageable. So I have no worries for us um, the only thing I'm worried about is just like not eating out, which is going to be hard, but we just like doing that, so we need to get better. I need to get better about cooking dinner, so I'm really motivated. I'm excited to share them with you. If you guys want to see what we make for dinner, like kind of what we eat in a day or recipes for that week, I'd be happy to share with you guys, so just let me know down below. And I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!